hotter than hell one. It's a warm one. The desert's a hard place to try to recover gold. There's so many different things that can go wrong in general. Now trying to do that in the desert is going to be a challenge. Temperatures here peak at 120 degrees, and it can be months without rainfall, making this place a nightmare for mining gold. It's going to be the hottest day of the year, they say, Fred. Probably 105, 110 degrees out here right now. Steel will be 250, 300 degrees. I bet we can cook eggs on it down here. It's cooking. Forgot the salt and pepper one. It's not the best egg I've ever had. This mine is definitely unique. There's really no access, and the access that we do have is pretty much Limited access to Maya's mine means Freddie and Juan have set up a portable shop four miles from the wash plant. We're having to scale down, build everything here. It's just more time added to everything. It's a pain in the They're nice guys. They're just ill prepared. They're behind the eight ball on everything, from what I can tell. It's a regular show. Try to help them the best we can with very little resources in brutally hot weather. What's the plan of attack for the day? Right now, their sluices aren't going to catch them any gold. They don't have enough water. Yeah. So let's concentrate on sluices first. The one they got now is too wide, so we're going to have to narrow it down and make it a little bit longer so it'll run. Maya's sluice run is short and wide. So the limited water they have is too low to wash the gravel over the riffles. They're clogging. So precious gold is being lost over the top. Freddy's plan? Make the sluices narrower and longer so the same water runs higher and for longer to wash away worthless gravel and allow the gold to settle in the riffles. So basically, we're building these sluice boxes to accommodate no water. Yeah. what we're doing. <clears throat> it's working with what we got. And they don't have shit. We got about five days to play with, so. And we got six days worth of work. All right, Freddy. Well, I'll get cutting. Double ended. That is a double ender one. I didn't even know that. It's a double ender, Fred. So we better get at it. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Juan. While Juan starts cutting steel plates for the sluices, Freddy needs to be certain Maya's desert claim has sufficient gold to make his operation viable. My gold claim is 40 acres. Its name is Gold Devil. It's uh, got a lot of history back from right after the Gold Rush, California. This was a super violent place. Yeah. Um, people would murder you over a flake of gold here. This whole area is one of the richest uh, gold deposits in Arizona. I've got a little piece of ground up there I would like to show you. It's where we're going to be digging. Oh, watch yourself. There's lots of snakes out here, man. Yeah. This is the ground that I don't believe has been touched. This is the honey hole of the whole area. So that's why we believe our future is going to be lying right over here. See, this, I, I think this has all been worked. My thoughts is this bottom down here has been gutted. I mean, most of that ground's mined out up in there. I don't know, man. This is where I want to dig. This is my future over here. Maya believes he's found a piece of virgin ground beyond a boulder patch. But Freddie thinks it's already been mined out. The old timers wouldn't just leave nuggets laying around. A lot of this creek's been mined. We need to find some virgin ground. We're going to have to look where they couldn't dig. Gold mining stuff. I mean, it's a tough game. Not many people can say that they've done a crazy thing like plaster mining in the middle of the, right. the desert in Arizona, huh? Yeah. <laughs> At the work site, Juan and Count are fabricating the new sluice boxes. So what we got going on here, I already cut the two bottoms out for your main sluice. OK. So we're going to narrow your sluice. Right now, it's really wide. Right. We're going to narrow it down to 24 inches by a 16 feet long total. If you guys are able to work your way out of this hole, what are your plans financially? What do you want to do with this? I mean, aside from just keeping our head above water, I, you know, I, I really need teeth. I mean, it's, uh, I lost my teeth a few years back. Uh, I was driving taxi in Fairbanks and tried to help a customer that was slipping on the ice and got an iPhone in my face. And that, that affects getting jobs and the way people treat you, and people automatically kind of treated you like you were an idiot, so. I'm hoping that with what we do here, you guys will be able to get some gold and, one, pay off some of your bills and get your teeth. That'd be great. I got all the big pieces done. 
Now it's all precision work. See that little tiny bit of dross on it? We can just hit it with a flat disc and it just knocks it all off. Ultimately, this plant hasn't produced a speck of gold. That's really, it's quite impressive to me. He's up here helping his buddy in the middle of the summer. Horrible, horrible place to try to mine in the middle of the summer. That's commendable. We're gonna do the best we can to help him out. Hopefully they can get some gold. It looks like count's helping. Hopefully we can make this happen before we run out of time. I'm gonna start welding stuff together. This isn't hell, but you can see it from here. We're damn close, huh? Juan cut those corners there, those gussets. They're perfectly square, so that's holding our sides perfectly square. Watching Juan and Freddie work is pretty awesome. You want to watch what they're doing constantly, but you also don't want to go blind, so here's a balance. <laughs> it's hot, really hot. Hey, Juan, do me a favor. Soak me. It's a mess. It's hot. The air temperature just hit a sizzling 120 degrees. But for Freddie and Juan, the heat on the sheet steel is even more intense. It'll be 150, 160 on this plate, kneeling above it, coming off. That's the only place I've got to build this, though, that's flat. We're running out of days, so we got to get a lot done today. Jeremiah and Count are counting on us, so we got to get this done. Hey, Juano. Hey, Fredo. I'm not feeling good. i to take a break for a minute. You OK? Yeah, that's the heat. OK. I'm not kidding. It's hot on that plate, Juan. It actually burns your skin. I could feel the heat through my knee pads. It was burning my knees through the knee pads. Just let me be for, you don't need to film all this. Tell, tell your camera guys to leave me alone for a while. You all right, man? Yeah, I'm not feeling real good. I'm dizzy and I have a bad headache. That's the first sign of uh, heat exhaustion out here, man. Hot. Hot. Yep. I'm gonna wrap up everything right now and we'll just we'll just call it a day. Okay. I don't wanna show that, please. I don't wanna show that. Sorry I kinda wussed out on you for an hour or so yesterday, Juan. I hold nothing against you because the truth of the matter is I was in the air conditioned office and you were dead right outside on top of that steel plate. A case of heat stroke has left Freddie and Juan a day behind schedule on their mission to help Maya's gold mining venture. We still got a lot to do, Fred. I'm just worried that uh, it's gonna take a little more time than we thought with this heat. It's gonna be a blast furnace today. 